Hello there, Capricorn. Welcome. This is your May 2022 bonus love reading. Let's see what's going on for you guys. I feel happy. What's going on? There's a happy, happy energy here. <laughs> Ooh, Six of Wands, victory. No wonder it's a happy, happy energy. So you're getting noticed for something or you're standing out or you're winning at something or something good is coming for you. Justice. Ah, now that is good. So justice is coming. It's making you very happy. Libra energy. And the emperor. Ooh. So either this is your energy. I think it's your energy standing in your power. It could be that you're dealing with Aries or another person that's um, in charge. I almost feel like there's something that you're working on or something you're doing that maybe took a long time for you to actually get recognized for your work. Maybe someone else is trying to take credit because this justice is in here in between. So something was not balanced and now it is. And we have the Seven Pentacles. Yeah, something you were putting a lot of work into. You almost gave up on it, I feel, with the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Why is the Six of Wands here? Ooh. The Six of Wands. Yay. Okay. A lot of recognition. I'm, I'm feeling... I'm, this energy I'm feeling is like all bubbly. I'm feeling great. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's good. Very good. Okay. So whatever is happening here... You are standing out. Your people are recognizing your work and your worth. Okay, and justice. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. You might have had to leave something. Maybe a job to start your own business. That almost feels like that. Like you left a job to start your own business or you left a job to go to another job and you probably got a better position. Or you left a relationship. But you did leave something that was no longer fulfilling and it's, it's working in your favor. You're getting a, more of a balanced life. I like it. What about the Emperor? Ooh, a new beginning. Okay, this is Aries Aquarius energy. So you're starting something that you could be starting a business. That's what it feels like. That you're starting something on your own or you're branching off maybe from something. That yeah, someone might be branching off from the from what they do as work, maybe starting something on the side. Okay, and um, we have the five of swords. Hmm, there's people around you that are not too happy with what you're doing here. They um, yeah, they they don't like that you're doing what how well you're doing. They don't like it. Well, too bad for them. Okay, now let's see. Let's see what else we have here for Capricorn. Five of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. And two of Wands. Okay. Someone feels like you abandoned them to do whatever this new thing is that you did. But it's more balanced for you. So, you know, you have to do what's good for you. And it, was, it wasn't an easy decision. I feel like here, the two of Wands, you had to make a decision. And, um... There's also something that you're thinking about in the past. Okay. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Yes, it has to do with work. Definitely a work card here. Okay. Let's see. Why do we have the Five of Pentacles here? Yes, because you ended something. You either ended... Um, you left a job or you ended a situation that left others out in the cold. It almost feels like you might have been doing a really good job at your work. And other people were just sort of like getting by and not, and not having to do as much because you took care of everything. Once you left there, now they feel like, oh, shoot, I can't hide this anymore. I have to work or I can't do what Capricorn could do. And now I'm going to get stuck. I'm, people are going to know. That's why I feel that this energy... That whatever you did, you balanced things out for yourself. And you righted things too. Because these people should not be able to just not do work. So this is um, the Death card, Scorpio Energy. This is an ending for new beginning and a transformation. You transformed a lot of lives because these people have to get to work now. <laughs> if, that's your, if that's your story. Because that's what I'm feeling really strong for somebody. Okay, now the Six of Pentacles. This is like things balancing out in your life, like more give and take, not all one-sided here. You walked away from that. There was an injustice. And the heck with those people. Yes, the Five of Pentacles. That, you know, Five of Cups, I'm sorry. 
The Five of Cups goes with the Five of Pentacles. Change. You know, this is like people don't like the fact that you're, you know, had to walk away from them. You know, you, but there's, there's an opportunity here. Maybe you left something behind that you wish that you didn't, weren't able to take with you. There's something that you had to give up because, yeah, when you do the Eight of Cups, you have to walk away from something. But there's still a possibility for something here. Supposed to be a love reading. It feels more like a work reading, but we'll, let's, let's see what happens. <laughs> We get what we get. Sometimes you have to get through a process or go through a change before that love will come in. And that's what you're doing. You're you're um you're up in your game here. Okay, what about this two of wands? Okay, in comes an offer here now that you have to decide on. This could be a job offer, it could also be a love offer. Um the pinnacle of wands is um Taurus Virgo Capricorn, so you are standing your ground. You are being very defensive. If people accuse you of anything, like especially, you know, doing your own thing, well, tough bully for them because you know what? You're doing you're doing what you need to do. Or bully for you. How does that go? <laughs> well, anyway, it's good for you. And you have to stand up for what you need to do here. Okay, now we have. Yes, yeah, see? You're standing above the rest. And you're getting recognized for this. These other people don't like it because you blew their cover. Is what I'm feeling here. Queen of Cups. Okay, now we have a Queen of Cups coming in. This could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Once you get everything settled as far as your career, your business, then this love comes in. You might meet this person at your new business or your new job. Um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And then we have, ooh, we have a Three of Swords. There's some kind of heartache here. And we have three of wands. Okay, we have two threes here now that we're looking at. You might be looking back towards the past, but you're also looking towards the future. Because this three of swords is something that hurt in the past. But you're trying to um you're trying to move on from this. So maybe you were worried about this is a new person. You might be worried about um painting them with the same brush from this person that hurt you in the past. But let's see what's going on here. Why do we have this seven of wands? Ooh, we have the queen of swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini we deal with here. Okay, let me get some more cards out. See what the story is here. This is getting to the truth. This I think this is your energy. Standing your ground and not let anybody try to manipulate you or try to make you feel bad for doing what you had to do. Ooh, yeah, see the five of, this is five of wands. Yeah, there's, there's people here that don't like the fact that you did your own thing. They're combative about it, you know. They're like, you know, you're supposed to be with us. You're supposed to be working with us. No. This might be, um, I don't know why the queen of cups here. Let's see. Okay, we have the page of wands. Yeah, there's going to be a message coming. This might be a person from the past now that I'm looking at. We have a page of wands here coming with a message. It could be about this heartache, this pain. So this queen of cups could be a past person. For some of you, it could be someone new. But there's competition here for this person. Either for, for you or for this person, there's competition. And the four of cups. You might not want to take this offer. It might also be that there's too much... Um, there's too much conflict or too much drama around this person. That's probably why it ended in the past. That's what I'm feeling here. You're standing around. So you know what? I'm doing me. I'm doing my own thing. I don't need all this extra drama. I'm not doing that. No more drama. No more drama, mama. Okay, let's see. A tower. Ooh. Scorpio. And Aries energy here. Something's going to shake things up. And it's going to be a judgment. It's going to... Okay, after everything settles, you're going to be able to make a decision here. And it's going to bring you the Ten of Pentacles. This is really nice. So whatever's coming here, I think you shook the boat here. You rocked their um, world. And now there's a judgment coming around. Because I think people are being held accountable for what they didn't do. And you're getting shown for what you did do up here. And you're, you're standing your guard again. Nine of Wands. You're protecting this. I'm really liking this reading. Must be a love reading, but hey, it is what it is here. <laughs> Let's see. The Tower. Let's clarify the Tower. 
Ooh, so this is going to bring in a whole new beginning, a whole something that you're very passionate about. This shakeup, this surprise, whatever this is, is actually a very good thing because it's bringing in some kind of new creative beginning for you that you have a lot of passion for. What about the judgment card? Yeah, you have choices. After all this dust settles, you're going to have a lot of choices. I think you have people coming towards you like headhunters or, or people like that. Recruiters wanting your skills, wanting your work here. And you're going to be celebrating this because you're making lots of money. Lots of money, honey. We have the Three of Cups of Celebration, Ten of Pentacles. Um, might be a long-term commitment. And then here comes the six, <laughs> six of Cups. Memories, past coming back in. It could be your job trying to get you back. Or it could be someone new coming into your life from a past life. Or it could be someone from the past, which I felt here with this Queen of Cups, could be returning for some reason. Okay, but it's more of, I mean, yeah, it's more focused on your work, I feel here. So let's see what else we get. Let's see if we get a little bit of love now after we get all your work situations settled. Let's see, is there anything here for Capricorn and love? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Ah, uh, we got the work card again. <laughs> And things moving quickly. Two eights. I like that. Two eights together looks really good. So things are balancing out in your life. You had been very patient um, to wait for the right timing to do things. Now we have the eight of pentacles. So, th so you're really focused on your work. You're really, and this is starting to shoot it off. It feels like going in different directions. Like you have many opportunities because of all the hard work you put in in the past. Let's see. Justice, yes. Libra energy, things are going to be fair. Now comes in the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. See, the, this person is very stable, reliable. And you know, I think you had to get into this energy. You had to get away from that um, very chaotic, um, full of drama energy that was around you with these people that were not good for you. And now... You're in a better environment, a better um, energy, and in comes the King of Pentacles. Someone more stable and reliable for a relationship. And they want commitment. It's also could be Taurus energy. This person wants the long term. Justice. See, justice is coming. Just had to wait. <laughs> Lovers, there you go. See, I'm telling you how to get your work situation figure it out you had to get everything in place and, and like that's what like the king of pentacles would be like the knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles needs to have their t's crossed their eyes dotted before something happens so and you are a earth sign so you like things stable you like things so you're getting your yourself situated for this new person gemini energy also the choice card page of wands there's going to be a message Communication, information coming in. Uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Four of Pentacles. Okay, someone wants to hold on to this too. They, they, or they might be keeping something. You might be keeping to yourself a little. Someone, someone's keeping something to themselves. Who's bringing you with the Ace of Pentacles? A new opportunity, money coming in. A lot of happiness, a Leo card, son. And you're going to need to balance things out. I think you might have to balance things out between this relationship and your work life because both are going to be pulled for you. You have Page of Pentacles. You get more offers, too. You have the Page of Pentacles here twice. So I think you're going to keep on getting business offers because you're doing quite well financially. And But in comes this person. That of all the stable people, the King of Pentacles will be the most stable. So that is very nice. Okay, let's see what these people are about. Who's the first one? We have. Is this? Okay, just want the court cards. So I guess the first one is this page of pentacles. What's the scoop on this page of pentacles? Sincere. Friend or friends. Married. Okay, got the two of wands, a choice. Someone's coming in. Okay, maybe this person's a friend and they actually want to 
have more than a friend there. I don't know. So, unless this could be a person that's a friend or friends that are offering you something as a business thing and they're very sincere about it, but they're married. I don't, you know, take that how it resonates with you. What about this Queen of Swords? We have Forget the End Family. Okay, so this could have been the family that was causing trouble for you. So you're you're leaving the family behind and start your own. That would make that would be why people be mad. Maybe you're working with a family business and you decide to get out on your own and do your own thing and they're not happy about it. Of course that's not gonna be for everyone. What about this Queen of Cups? Before apology realize. Okay, I almost feel like this person this person's come back to apologize, but they should have done it before. And maybe that's why you're not sure about doing anything about this because that that's long overdue. Okay, what about this page one? We have money, regret. Okay, there's a mystery, but someone has regrets about money here. So this is coming in as a message. Something about this heartbreak, this hurt. And um, there's going to be some kind of message coming in. On the page of pentacles or something and it, that is money there the, i'm sorry page of wands so they regret something about money and says some kind of mystery if that makes sense to you that's for you if it doesn't then it's not for you okay let's see about this oh no wait we go this way first we'll go to this king of pentacles what's this one this king of pentacles you have expect accused Lover. Ooh, what is that? Someone's going to accuse a lover or something? Or someone's going to accuse you of having a lover? I don't know. Page of Wands? Obsessed. After. Very soon. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I think, okay, let's put it this way. After being obsessed, you're going to get a message from somebody here very soon. The Page of Wands is a messenger, so that's what that's about. But they've been obsessed over you. Okay. Now, what about this Page of Pentacles? It's got two here. Intruder. S serious. Okay. Someone's serious about an intruder? You're going to get a message... From a page of pentacles towards Virgo Capricorn about an intruder and is serious. Someone's intruding in something. Could be, you know, a message about somebody in your family or whoever's interfering in your career here. I'm trying to trying to intrude there. Intruder. Okay. Let's see here. What signs do we have for you guys? What are the signs? We have Scorpio. Sagittarius. Just move this out of the way. I don't know if you guys want to see that. Okay. Gemini. Libra. Cancer. And the last one is Capricorn. There you are. Okay, guys. So this could be placements in your chart, placements in other people's chart, past, present, or future. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Cancer, and Capricorn. Now for the letters. These are the initials. First name, last name. You get both first and last. You get the middle. All the better. Past, present, future people, or even your own. V. G. M. E. F. P. U. Y. W. O. Last one is K. So the letters we have for you today are 
V-G-M-E-F-P-U-Y-W-O-K. Okay, now the names, 11 names. Let's see what names come out for you guys. Come on, pull out. Let's see what we have here. We have Latoya, Nellie, Patricia, P I T R I Z I A, Janine, J E N E E N, Mary, Paul, Amy, Sebastian, Lisa. Okay, I need two more. Two more from the bottom, please. Oh, we got here. Okay, I got three. I'm not gonna throw one back. That would not be right. Oh, four. Bernadette, Joe, put Joe up there, and Kunjal, K U N J A L, and Renee. So these are the names. Okay, guys. You know how it goes. These are general readings and not personal reading. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if anything resonates. Please leave comments. I'd love to read your comments. And I want to thank you guys. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all the likes, shares, subscribes, comments, and also the super thanks that now are available. Thank you so much for um, donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.